Paging Aitken Robertson to courtroom number two. The jury is back with a verdict. Members of the jury, how do you find the accused? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty on all accounts, your honor. Welcome to the Aiken Robertson YouTube channel. I'm Melanie Van Orde, your paralegal host. Joined today again by counsel Dan Lemaire, and today's topic is not my first DUI. So we'll discuss the significant changes in Ontario's drinking and driving laws, especially the difference in penalties for first-time and repeat offenders. So understanding these laws is crucial due to the severe consequences of DUI convictions. Hi, Dan. Hi, Melanie. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Well, I'm doing well, thank you. Dan, how do penalties for second and third-time DUI offenders differ from those for first-time offenders? So there's really two potential things that we need to look at for any DUI, really, but in particular for second and third time offenders. There are consequences that flow first from the Ministry of Transportation and second from the court. And so those things are related, but they they are different. As a second time DUI offender, your penalty is really going to depend on whether the Crown exercises their discretion to do what's called file notice of your previous conviction. If they choose to do that, then the mandatory minimum sentence is a 30-day jail sentence as well as a two-year driving prohibition. If the Crown exercises that discretion, then there is nothing that the judge uh, can do to go below that sentence. That is the, the lowest sentence that you will get. As a third-time DUI offender, the court will be faced with a similar mandatory minimum sentence, slightly harsher though of 120 days in custody as well as again as a two-year driving prohibition and then how many years must pass without a dui to avoid facing harsher penalties for repeat offenses so that really depends on on a number of things typically the crown is going to be filing notice in the five to seven year mark so if your dui is five six seven years or older, then the Crown uh, will strongly consider not filing the formal notice of your previous convictions. That's with respect to the court uh, penalties. With respect to the Ministry of Transportation, it will be a full 10 years um, before the Ministry of Transportation will consider you to be a first-time offender again. And um, are there any programs available for repeat DUI offenders? So as a second-time offender, yes. As a third-time offender, typically no. A second-time offender is eligible for what's called the Stream D program, which if you enter a guilty plea in the first 90 days, then you will be eligible to get your license back after nine months. That is to be followed by a, an interlock period, so you would be required to have a breathalyzer device in your vehicle for a subsequent 18 months. There are some other requirements to that program as well that are set out in the in the regulations under the Highway Traffic Act. Well, thank you so much for all the information today, Dan. It was really informative. And thank you for everyone else for joining us today on the Legally Speaking Aiken Robertson YouTube channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for tuning in to Legally Speaking, proudly brought to you by Aitken Robertson Criminal Defense. 
We represent clients facing criminal charges all over Ontario, providing you with legal support and dedicated advocacy. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more content, please like and subscribe to our channel. For more information, visit our website. We also offer free books on various types of criminal charges, which you can request on our website or by using the QR codes on your screen now. For legal assistance, call us today or visit our website to request a meeting with one of our experienced lawyers or licensed paralegals. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Legally Speaking.